All right, now we're getting to the database. So luckily we've already imported, so we're just going to open our table. And now what we need to do is we need to check the data types and data, um, the, file, the field sizes, and then we need to insert some validation techniques. So what I'm going to show you is I suggest you use the fields tab for this instead of going to the design view, just because it's easy because you can actually see your data. Now you can check the timestamp is a data that is a date and time. And the format looks like that. That is fine for me. That's good. So age is number. The format is general number. That's good. The field size, I'm going to go have to set in design view. So age, the field size, remember, byte would actually be ideal because byte allows any numbers up to the actual number 255. And it has to be a whole number. So that's perfect because we don't want our database to be too big. Let's go back. Uh, gender, let's have a look, fields, short text, that's correct. Now I can actually change the field size right here. So go, on, go and count how big is female and that's the field size you use. Hours per day, number, it's a general number and change the field size again to byte. Monthly spend should not be number, we need to change that to currency, right? Now this one, social media. Um, because it's one that where they could choose more than one, uh, you could actually, uh, um, you see what, I, what it actually did, you know, I would actually leave it as short text, um, not, so basically it's this, if you have one where they could choose more than one, if you did it in access originally, what you would have done is you would have had, had made a drop down list where they could allow multiple list values. But if you change it to this afterwards, it doesn't actually pick it up nicely. So I wouldn't bother doing this afterwards now. Um, I would just change the field size to something smaller. This one number again, change the field size to byte, but a yes and no field is important to actually change to yes and no. And if it was spelled correctly, then it will convert correctly to your tick boxes. If you have a field like this, though, where people could only choose one, so it was something like gender, male or female, you could go and put a drop down list in for that. So a lookup, use a lookup wizard. So now that you've set the field sizes for everything and we've checked the data types for everything, you now need to go and check if there are any validation techniques that you can use. So I would say for something like hours per day and the monthly spend and the scale question, you can put in a validation rule to make sure that nobody enters data in that was not allowed. So if your scale was only up to six, then put in a validation rule that prohibits them from entering data that is outside of those parameters. And please refer back to your textbook to actually see how to do this. And remember to enter validation text that goes along with this to provide the error message if someone would try to enter new data. For something like gender, use your lookup wizard to actually um, allow people to just choose it from a drop down list. Okay, and that's it for the table. What we're going to do next is we're going to create two meaningful queries and that will then be our last step.